بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Now to overcome this bridging loops issue so we need to have a solution of course the end solution is spanning tree that's what we'll be seeing but let's try to figure out what are the other possible options we can go with uh, typically you can say that okay don't use two links uh, never connect link switch switch to switch uh, multiple links just go with one single link but the problem with this one is if that link particular fails let's say due to some reason so if i assume there is some kind of connectivity issue or cable issue or port issues then it's going to uh, stop the communication completely between the users of the switch 1 and the switch 2 okay so we want a solution which will provide us the redundancy at the same time it will prevent the loops okay so typically we'll be using multiple links and we can say that okay what i'll do is when i'm using two links i'll ensure that any one of the link is actually forwarding the traffic and the other one is temporarily disabled so temporarily disabled or shut down temporarily as long as this link is working and i can say that if this link goes down due to some reason i can enable this link to to forward the traffic so that you know there is no loops because only one link is forwarding the traffic at the same time we got some kind of redundancy because we are ensuring that any one link is forwarding the traffic at the same time if that link fails then it is going to use an alternate link but is it possible to do it manually so manually is not possible because in your network when you will come to know that this link is down and make this link up so you can just think about that solution but practically manual is not possible so there there should be some automated process and that automated automated process is done by stp so stp is a inbuilt protocol inside your switches so what it is going to do is it is going to block the alternate link temporarily so blocking means it's not it's not going to forward any traffic no broadcast no unicast multicast will be forwarded so the job of the stp is to ensure that in your network how many multiple paths you have because typically in the production scenarios as i said you may have two links you may have three links you may have one more link from here so typically you may have three to four paths or maybe more than that depends depends how you connect so let's assume we have multiple paths here we got four paths so the job of the stp is to ensure that any one of the link here is forwarding the traffic so which means in my case uh let's assume that this is the path which is forwarding so probably it will calculate we'll see that calculation also the best route will be in the forwarding and the remaining paths it is going to temporarily put them into blocking state now the blocking state it means that it's not going to forward any traffic so the stp will ensure that any one link is forwarding the traffic remaining all the routes are blocking temporarily and let's say due to some reason if this link goes down one of the link goes down the best link goes down let's say so the stp will automatically come to know that this link is down so immediately it is going to make this port into forwarding so less than 50 seconds so there is a timer as well we'll see the timer also so less than 1 minute we can say around 50 seconds is the maximum time it will take so the second link will be forwarding the traffic and let's say due to some reason second link also goes down so the first link is down second link is down so if you have a third route then it will start forwarding the traffic from the third route and again if the first link is up and running then it will again block the other links so the job of the stp is to ensure that any one of the link is forwarding the traffic when you have multiple connections or multiple paths in your lan so this will ensure that there is no loops at the same time uh, we have redundancy so which means if one of the link fails automatically the other link will be forwarding the traffic so this is the same thing what stp does stp is going to stop the loops so the loops can be prevented uh, the loops can be prevented with the help of stp and those loops which generally occur when you have multiple links between the switches okay so preventing the ports by putting the each port in the forwarding or blocking state as i said if you have two paths it's going to put one of the port in the forwarding another one will be in the blocking okay so you can see there is one more diagram which represents the same thing so stp is going to pick the interfaces which interfaces will be in the forwarding which interfaces will be in the blocking it depends again depends upon some calculations we'll try to understand that in our next slides 
again blocking ports as i said the port which is kept in the blocking state will not be received so it's going to drop all the traffic uh, which is going to prevent the loops again as i said the previous problems broadcast storms multiple frame transmissions data instability these all can be avoided with the help of stp and again stp is a standard protocol which means it, this stp is by default uh, running in all the cisco, all the switches uh, typically if you are running any cisco or hp switch or any other uh, switches so typically it's a standard protocol ieee 802.1d that it, that is what it represents and here we are talking about cisco switches so basically the process remains the same in all the vendors and stp is by default enabled in all the cisco switches here